Hello people, today I'm going to show you a tutorial in Isle how to get Island Daredevil without having to activate all three pylons and yank over to the Mantis Meteor or to crash over by the spire and then get hit by it. Instead, I yesterday for a super easy way and I was very confused at first but then I realized like, oh my gosh, I get it. To get Island Daredevil, you need to be have your ragdoll flung a great distance, and just another, like, not disclaimer, but thing. The reason I'm using, like, my voice now is because I find it more convenient than, you know, find it easier to use than, like, the, just typing in the chat, but it's also quicker, and I don't have to stop every 10 seconds to tell you guys, but what I'm trying to say is, the, oh, okay, never mind, that scared me. The red thing on the bottom scared me. I had no idea what that was. Alright, so, you're gonna need a strange rock, which is an underwater loot spawn, and they're frequently common. You can find them either in the cove over there, or the Spider's Perch, which has a new area since Isle 9 came out. It has, like, a new little under area, as an area underneath it, full of underwater loot, usually. But then, you'll need to get killed by something, or hit by something else, stun you, so like you ragdoll, you know? And then you you would like activate the rock and then you'd teleport your ragdoll across the map, which would count as getting flown a great distance. So I found that extremely convenient and like I was like, oh my gosh. Also for some other reason I found three strange strings, but not a strange rock. Wow. Okay. You know what? Alright, let's go. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is find a strange rock of course. It's 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 a required thing. Or, you could actually probably use a green portal, like the portals that spawn on the island. You could probably, like, somehow ragdoll into one of them, get shot, and, you know, fall into it. I don't know. The strange rock's definitely a lot easier to use, but definitely harder to find sometimes. So, underwater loot spawns include the, the area I just checked, uh, over by the cove, Generator Shore, Lighthouse Shore, Grand Lake, uh, bungalows. There's a lot of different places. I'm gonna check all of them until I get a rock. I got the makeshift cloak on me, which is this thingy. Makes me... Oh my god, no adventure. Okay, yeah. I keep getting those, apparently. So, I'm gonna keep looking around until I can find... Find something. Alrighty. So, I checked Cove, which is just where I was. And I checked Spider's Perch, but there's no strange rock. So, I'm gonna head over... Oh my gosh, I feel so much slower with that strange thing. I'm gonna head over to the, um, the, whatchamacallit over here. I'm gonna go to the Giver's hut. Oh, this is so dangerous. But that's right, we're doing it. Where's the Giver's house? I've never been there. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I think it's actually over there. Okay, actually, I'm gonna go check Grand Lake. For some underwater loot, like strange rock, and then I'll go to Generator Shore. Actually, no, I'm not gonna skip Generator Shore. I'll go to Bungalows. Bungalows are a lot easier to find. So, you can skip through the video. I'm recording this live. I'm not gonna edit the video at all because I have no idea how to. But just skip, I guess. And if I have strange rock, my inventory will say down here, strange rock, and then you can continue to watch. So, uh, actually, now I think of it, there is a way to get strange rock. Let me just clear the strange string right there. Okay, so this is something fishing on over here. And they give you underwater loot. Like, just randomly underwater loot. So, there's a chance I can get a strange rock in this. It only has three uses, though. So, let me just fish. It's kind of a similar fishing system in islands. You gotta, you gotta keep the fish in the, the little white box. You got a strange fish, not a strange rock, but fish. Kinda, of, kinda of funny. I got another fish. All right, one more catch. Bro, did I get another fish? I got three fishes. Holy crap! Okay. Well, I did not get a single strange rock. Instead, I got three fish. But these things just make me faster, so. I'll keep it actually. Yeah, look how fast I'm going. I'm going at the speed of light. I'm going to stack it. Eat another fish. Yum. Strange strength effect right now. Yo, look how fast I'm going. Okay, so. There's a strange rock, guys! Look at that. I found a strange rock. Okay, yeah, see? There. Strange rock. Located. 
Uh, I can't grab it. Oh my gosh, look how fast I'm going. Guys, alright. You're gonna need one of these things, Strength Rock. You're gonna need this to, like, do it, basically. And then you're gonna need some way to get stunned, or, like, Ragdoll. There are some things. Now that I think about it, I have an idea. Okay. So, you. So, on tomorrow, day two, because it's day one in Isle currently, there's gonna be. The mercenary is gonna come, and Sniper has a scope rifle. And the scope rifle stuns you, but it does 100 damage, so it'll kill me. But I'm gonna go grab the guaranteed spawns in the Ballistic Vest over in the Cove. Or, it's near Cove, actually, it's not in the Cove, but. Look how fast I'm going. Holy crap. Yo, look at me. So there's a guaranteed spawn for ballistic vest over here. Oh, I just lost strange fish effect and strange fish effect. I'm going so slow. It feels so weird. Okay. Yeah, but you're not gonna need the makeshift cloak and actually the makeshift cloak makes you harder to see from the mercenaries, but you might want to be seen so you can get hit. Because the ballistic vest will make it so you survive the scoped rifle attack, but like, it'll ragdoll you, and you'll still be alive. And then when you're ragdolled, you pull out your strange rock and activate it. And I'm not doing this on the new account currently, so it, I, will, I already have, got the strange... Or, not strange. I already got the Island Daredevil title, but this is not patched as far as this video came out. So, if you're watching this in like a few weeks, it's probably it's probably patched, I don't know. There was another way, which was to... Because you spawn in the, the cutscene boat. I'm going to try to actually find it. It's a little boat all in the fog. My quality is all the way up, and I should be able to see it. Uh, I can't seem to find it, but... Like, where the initial aisle cutscene happens, like, where, like, the monster crashes the ship, you spawn this boat all the way, like, far out in the sea. It's not... Oh, yeah, see it? Where my cursor is? Right there, that little thingy in the way? That's where you spawn the thing, so... When you like woke, when he says you woke up, you teleport across from there all the way right there. So if you ragdoll right before you teleport, it'll you'll be flung a great distance basically, and it'll teleport you there. So that's that's another way, but it's patched. I try to do it for it's already patched, but I don't think this is patched already. I don't know. I, I found out about it yesterday, so it definitely hasn't been long. But so I'm pretty much actually just gonna wait for the mercenaries to come. So it's kind of kind of an intermission. I'm not going to be doing anything, so you kind of just skip ahead the video some, like, 10 minutes probably, 10 minutes, it'll be mercenaries time. So, yeah, I should be able, because I might need to actually find a gun, because I might have a nightly encounter with Stan, and Stan insta kills you in the night encounters, even if you have a ballistic vest, so... I would need a gun to defend myself. Actually, there's a guaranteed spawn in the watchtower for a scoped rifle. But my inventory is not full, cool, so I'm gonna drop the flashlight. Yeah, I'm gonna drop flashlight. Okay, I... You know, I'm gonna drop flashlight, it's fine. I'll drop flashlight, okay. And the scoped rifle. I'll actually check the lighthouse afterwards. Go over uh, that away. Um, circle my cursor. Yeah, I'm not... I took a deep breath, I was like burping weirdly. I know it sounds stupid, but like I can't breathe that well, so it's fine, it's gone now. But that's why my voice was more strained. But I'm gonna grab the scope rifle and then I'm gonna check the lighthouse because the lighthouse can have another gun. Like the scope rifle is good, but only it's been shot, so you know. But if I can find something like a full action rifle or a double barrel shotgun, that'd be even better. <clears throat> so this is actually the first uh, game video I made, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember I was picking any other ones. I'm pretty sure this is the first video I've made where I actually have my voice in. Like, you know, voice chat, I guess. Not chat. But okay. Do I need the healing spray? Do you think I need the healing spray? I don't think I need the healing spray. Yeah. Oh, no. Question mark. Did you see that? Dude, why is it, why is it saying question mark, question mark? It's like to toggle this bit. I'm clicking it. Ah, oh, so according to this, it's 4 p.m. in aisle time. It's like 1 30 p.m. my time currently. Okay. But, I'm gonna head to the lighthouse. The sun's setting. I'm gonna get the thingy saying, uh, soon. Very, very soon. I should be, there should be another message pop up right here saying, like, transport to the island is getting dark. 
like, find shelter, basically, from the experiment, which is the lore-wise name for Stan, and Stan's just the community name for the, the, the red-eyed monster that goes around and likes to attack you, but, yeah, just so you know, if you don't know that you can do this, the scope rifle, sniper rifle, and suppressed rifle, you click the middle mouse button, you don't, like, scroll, you click it, and then it'll do this, and you can scroll, and it'll do that. Basically, sniper rifle. But I have the ballistic vest, but once you're gonna need the ballistic vest and a strange rock, those are two guaranteed items you're gonna need. Because you are actually, you might not need the ballistic vest. See, this is the message, right? You might not need the ballistic vest, but if you find some other way to get stunned, so like you got your guy ragdolls, still activate the, the strange rock when you're dead, because you ragdoll when you die. So, I'm not gonna, I just activated it. Oh, I'm at the hangar then. Okay, I guess I'm gonna check I totally just accidentally activated my strange rock. Well, there's a there's a demonstration of what it does. You see, it teleports you to a completely random spot on the island. I was over there, that way. Actually, oh, that's a pylon. Never mind. The lighthouse was that way, where I'm circling the cursor. But now I'm at the hangar. I can find a guaranteed spawn for a double barrel shotgun here, which I'm gonna switch out of scope for. Double. Damn, it's got two bullets, so be gone. Okay, that was pathetic. The strange rock has infinite uses, it just has to cool down, like, uh, if I hold my cursor, it says cool to the touch, you can't, you can't seem to drop it. So I'm clicking right now, it won't activate. If it's, like, glowing neon green like this, then you can't activate it, but if it's just, it looks like a normal rock, then, then it's activatable. But. So, Stan might attack me, actually. The nightly encounters both count before you sleep, and, like, during your sleep, I guess, it kind of sounds confusing, but. So, I could actually get attacked by Stan as he's speaking, but let's hope I don't. I mean, I should be okay speaking, which I have the Ballistic Vest and Healing Spray, so if I do actually get hurt, my Healing Spray can heal me. This thing's just a healing item, because there's not, you don't have passive regeneration in Isle. In passive regeneration, it's the, 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 the term for, like, your health will regenerate by its own, but you don't have that in Isle. If you take damage, you're going to be damaged until you heal yourself, so... I got a double rail shotgun. This thing has a lot less range than the scope, but it'll still hit Stan and instantly scare away. Because I want the mercenaries to see me and sniper try to shoot me, but I want to be at a distance where, like, I won't, you know, get killed by the other mercenaries. So the other second furthest ranged one would be Gunner, but then the most accurate range one besides sniper is Spotter. It's Gunner has an LMG which has more range than the um, battle rifle, but this LMG, like, it, it's a lot less accurate than the battle rifle, so even if it has a lot of range, it doesn't mean it's going to hit every single shot, and it doesn't hit every single shot. It'll hit, like, maybe one or two out of the 20 round bursts, but the battle rifle is extremely accurate at its range. Like, it will hit all the bullets, or like, maybe miss, like, one to two. It won't miss, like, any more than two. So, yeah, it's really, the battle rifle is, so, I'm going to stay at, like, a range, I said this for for gunner and spotter can't hit me, but sniper can. Sniper, or spotter will alert sniper of my location, and spotter has a 1,200 stud radius of alerting. Like he can see me from 1,200 studs away. I've gone 12,000 studs right now. It's at the top, like right there. But so I'm gonna stay at a distance where they can't shoot me besides sniper, and I'm actually gonna try to get hit by sniper. It'll say at the bottom of my screen, "You feel a sniper scope watching you," and I'll get shot. So that's not going to be a two.
campsite area. It has a guaranteed spot for a torch, a climbing tool, uh, ground berries, actually. I don't know if it's having fun. Make your camera, which it can show you where most of are. If it's at a location for camping. I still got one bullet in the whole world. Nice. The stand would have actually attacked me then. He would have actually started hitting me and killing me. And if I had the scope rifle, I would probably have steady in time and he would have killed me by it. But if I had the scope barrel, that's a smart idea. You know. Alright, I'm gonna wait up to him. Let's don't mind me. Yep. Hold it. Alright. So, he's gonna try to kill me and I'm gonna have my double barrel. It's gonna start saying out of range. I'm gonna pop that one. Like that. There we go. See, that's why the double barrel is really high up. I mean, yeah, it's like out of range, but when you get in range, you'll have enough like, time to shoot it, basically, so. And I just, once again, silence. Now my double barrel's out of ammo, so I could just throw it off a ledge. It's literally useless. An empty double barrel is actually useless. But that's the whole reason I bought the double barrel, because I would have gotten both those cases from Stan. But I didn't. Okay, this thing's out of ammo, so, uh, be gone. Alright, uh. I can't hear it for a the, the mercenaries are coming to Actually, I, mean, I gotta hide because if they see me, if the helicopter sees me, it's gonna land over by the lighthouse. And they go down the street. But actually, I'm gonna hide in one of these things so there's a helicopter. Uh, I hear it. I don't see it. I'm hiding in this. Don't. Don't be good. If Stan attacked me, I would die. Like, I would actually die. Alright, helicopter passed overhead. That's it. Like, the green helicopter saw it. That's what you need to drop off on this place, so. They are gonna come for me. They're gonna try to kill me, theoretically. They might just go somewhere else. So, yeah, once again, I'm gonna try to get hit by a sniper. It sounds stupid to actually want to get hit by a scope rifle, but I don't want to. So, I can't see him in the trees currently, but I grab some stuff, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him. Uh, they don't actually hear the saying. So, yeah, they don't, they don't actually hear the saying. Like, it doesn't lead to their walkie talk. Walkie talkies too, yes I know. But I'm going to go and try to get their attention. Because I'm going to try to get shot. It sounds stupid and it kind of is, but I have this vest, so I'll be okay. They say something usually like, yeah, base is gonna send personal scratch, so I have a proceed. And then base is gonna say like, oh yeah, if you see um any prisoners like me, uh exterminate them on site because they're bad. You go, we did not do So yeah, I'm gonna go try to get them, figure out if we have to find them. Hopefully I can find them. I better be able to find them. Yeah, so if I start getting scoped in on it, it starts saying like you feel a sniper scope watching on the bottom, then that's good news. Because I need to be shot. Yeah, see, look at Search the island, extract any remaining personnel, B4, transport to carry prisoners, if encounter, it's And I'm one of those prisoners, so if they encounter me, they're gonna try to kill me. Which is not nice. It's not nice to kill me. What am I going to Oh, yes, I feel sniper still watching. That's what I want. Come on, bring it on. Alright, you saw what I did there? He gets sniper from here. Dang! Sniper got some rain. Okay, yeah, no. You saw how I teleported when I was back old rock? That is what you have to do. That will get you island air devil. Oh, well, now that that's done, I can just reset now because I don't actually have to do anything. My, my, my mission is done. My objective is complete. I, I told you guys the loophole for getting the daredevil. It's kind of, um, it's kind of perfect. But, I'll just show you. I just, I just fall into the water. 
Okay, so it's gonna teleport me to a lobby. It's not gonna say you unlock the title island, Daredevil, because I already have, but that's what you gotta do to do it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. I'll show you the title. Uh, settings, titles. Island, Daredevil. I already have it active here, but this is what you can get, and you need this title for when you get the, um, uh, Island Legend 4 star. And I have 3 star. I have 3 star, actually, for sure. Yeah, I got Island Legend 3 star. So, I'm kind of on my way to getting 4 star, but I need a one thing I need to do is get the exterminator, which is killing Blue Mantis. It's like a super soldier, basically. And she's extremely hard to kill, so I don't have actual time for that. I gotta do something soon. So I'm gonna stop the video here. I hope this helps some of you guys because it's kind of something I found out yesterday and I decided, like, oh my gosh, people are gonna need to know this. Like, because the initial way to get Island Air Devil is super hard. But yeah, it's pretty much what I gotta do to show you guys. Well, I want to show you guys this video. I try to keep it short. I don't cut anything. Usually, I don't edit my videos, but uh, it's done. I guess you know. Show you guys. So I'm gonna stop the video now. Uh, see you guys next time.